Hello. We'll be still working on national income determination. And in every example, we are going to have new items. Now we'll have uh, a formula which is saying that y equals to c plus i plus g. Okay. Here, you know, y is the income, c is the consumption, uh, i is the plant investment, g is also the plant. government expenditure it's bad. expenditure okay so in this formula I have y equals to c plus i plus g y is our income c is our consumption i will be the planned investment and g will be the planned government expenditure this is one formula and the other formula will be y d equals to y minus t Okay, T is here for the tax and YD will be our income after paying the taxation loss. You can say that, like a net income. It's our income after we uh, pay or eliminate uh, the taxes that we have to pay. Okay, now let's have an example here. the formula uh, uh, the question here is saying that you're given uh, g equals to 20 i equals to 35 c equals to 0 0.9 yd plus 70 t equals to 0 0.2 0 0.2 y plus 25 and we're supposed to calculate the equilibrium level of national income so once we start solving this first let's go to our formula that says Uh, y equals to c plus i plus g y equals to c plus plug in the value of i and g from here y equals to c plus 55 so here you have this formula we will get back to it later next uh, this type of questions are going to be solved in uh, replacing or in substituting uh, these formulas in each other okay once you are done with this formula go to yd equals to y minus t and yd equals to y minus t take this formula of t and plug it here don't forget that this negative is going to be multiplied by everything inside the bracket So don't forget the coefficient is here 1, so 1 minus 0 0.2 will give you 0 0.8y. Okay, good. Here you have another formula. <coughs> also, I will get back later to it. Now, c equals to what? Take this formula. Now, c equals to 0 0.9yd plus 70. Instead of this yd, plug in this formula, which is which will give you this one. Instead of this yd, I plugged in this whole formula now. Open the brackets.
this together you will find 47.5 ok again here we found another formula ok uh, before I go to the next idea let me revise for you what I did here you are given that g is this and you are given these stuff that you can read now I will start with the first formula which, which says that y equals to c plus i plus g so instead of this i and instead of this g I plugged in these two values and I found that y equals to c plus 55 this is one formula then I will go back to the formula that says that y d equals to y minus t and instead of this t I, I would plug in the value or the formula of this t so I put here instead of this t I substitute this formula then I open the brackets don't forget that this negative will be multiplied for everything and don't forget that the coefficient of y is 1 so 1y minus 0.2y minus 25 when you subtract these two you find 0.8y this is another formula next go back to the formula that says c equals to 0.9yd plus 70 this one and instead of this yd plug in the formula that you got right now this formula plug in it instead of this yd I, I brought it here Look. now uh, then I would open the brackets 0.9 it would be multiplied by everything here you would find this one next uh, collect the like terms add the numbers and I found this formula good now I'll change this side don't forget that y equals to c plus 55 from where did I get this one I got it from the first formula that I did I got it here I'm talking about this formula now y equals to c plus 55 and you already know what's the value of c the last one which is 0.72 y plus 47.5 this is my c plus what 55 now also I'll collect the like terms <coughs> good so now you could take uh, the y with the y that means I can bring this y back this one and don't forget the, y, the coefficient is here 1 so 1y one minus 0.72y equals to this 102.5 if you subtract this you'll find 0.28 y equals to 102.5 divide both sides by 0 0.28 this will be cancelled out so the value for y will be 311 of course this value is rounded to 311 now if you find the value of y you can plug in this value here to find the value of what? c so 311 equals to c plus 55 bring this one back C would be oh, uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm really sorry uh, when you subt when you um, when you divide this you would get 366 really sorry for that it's just a matter of using your calculator 366 so if you bring this one back C would be 366 minus 55 which would give you C would be 311 Good. so that will be our national income equilibrium where uh, the income will be 366 and the consumption will be 311 I'll give you a question that I want you to try by yourself here is the given given that g equals to 40, i equals to 55, c equals to 0 0.8, y d plus 25, t equals to 0 0.1, y plus 10. Uh, so you're supposed to calculate the equilibrium level of national income. Please try this question and if you have any question or any problem.